Welcome to logical reasoning video on seating arrangement from careerright.com. All placement tests, job interviews, banks, MBA and other exams always have at least 5 questions on this. This shows how important this topic is. Many find it tough but today we'll see how to easily handle these questions. You can practice seating arrangement sums on careerright.com. So now let's start with the tutorial. Before going on to some sums, let us see some of the important tips that are needed to solve the sums. You know all this stuff but again I am repeating this just for revision sake. Okay? First take a look at the left hand corner. First you must be well versed with directions. right? So we have 8 directions. This is north, this is south, this is east, west. So this will be northeast, southeast, southwest and northwest okay this is north west so you should know the directions always whenever in exam whenever there is direction sense test or even seating arrangement always take this as north and accordingly you can draw the rest of the directions right now after this another important concept now you know this is clock 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is the how the clock proceeds so this is the clockwise direction okay and the opposite would be anti-clockwise direction right so remember clockwise and anti-clockwise clockwise is always from the this side anti-clockwise is always from this side you may be facing any direction it doesn't matter at all clockwise and anti-clockwise will remain same because clock will move always in this direction okay now apart from this next important concept would be now whenever uh, there are people sitting around a table or meeting in a circle or a rectangle or something like that, they may be facing inside okay, or they may be facing outside. So again it is a very important concept because we have to pay attention whether the people are facing outside or they are facing inside. Why? Because directions or sense of direction, sense of right and left changes with this. So make sure whether the people are facing inside or outside, okay? But please remember that even if they are facing inside or outside, clockwise and anti-clockwise will never change, it will remain the same, okay? Let's move on to the next concept, right? The concept of right and left. Say you are standing over here or I am standing over here, this is me and this is the north direction, okay? I am facing north. This is my right side, this is my left side. Now, this is me and I am now facing south. What will be my right side? It will not be this, okay? It will be opposite. This will be my right side because now I am facing south. For you who are seeing this video, for you the right side would be this. But this is my left, okay? Because I am facing south. Same way for east and west, it would be exactly opposite, right? So remember, right and left changes in uh, due to in which direction you are facing. If you are facing north, it is normal right and left. And if you are facing south, it is opposite. Also, what you need to remember whenever we are facing inside or outside, right and left will change. Accordingly, you have to take care, okay? We will see it in the sums also, what exactly happens when uh, for right and left, Whenever some people are facing inside and some people are facing outside, okay? Let's move on to the next tip, right? Now, next tip is nothing but the type of sums that may be asked. In seating arrangement, people might be arranged in a single row, okay? Or they may, they may be arranged into parallel rows facing each other or away from each other facing each other or facing away from each other or they may be adjusted uh, into columns, right? Two or three columns. They may be sitting around a square table or a rectangular table or a circular table facing inside or facing outside. Whatever may be the case, we are going to see all these examples of all these types. Okay. So how to solve these sums? Very easy. There is a very small, uh, there are very small easy steps. First is count the number of people. Okay. Count the number of people in the numerical. Second is draw a framework, 
draw a frame of the seating arrangement if they are sitting in a circular table draw a circle and arrange these people how many people are there whatever you count arrange them okay third is solve sentence by sentence and then merge them merge all the observations merge all the sentences so that you get a uniform frame a good seating arrangement and then you can answer any given question it is always see the type of questions which are asked is they'll give you some statements based on that you have to draw a diagram and then there will be question one question two like this four to five questions would be there it is much better to spend around about 40 to 45 minutes on the diagram right deciphering the sentences and drawing the diagram because these will be easy pickings if you get the diagram correct this would be like these five questions you can solve in hardly like say 15 seconds total total all five questions in just 15 seconds so you will be scoring heavily in this topic so don't get the diagram wrong right we'll see how to draw correct diagram how to decipher the sentences and come to the correct conclusion so now let's move on to question number one a b c d e f and g are seven friends sitting in a single row facing north d is to the immediate right of c e and a are neighbors of f b is to the immediate left of c and on the second play on second place from left to most end a is at the right most end now what have they given there are seven friends sitting in a single row facing north this is our north okay count the number of people how many people are there seven friends okay they are sitting then draw the frame of seating arrangement they are sitting in a single row facing north okay so let us draw seven places over here four five six and seven okay now this is the seating arrangement sitting in a single row facing north okay so this is the seating arrangement that has been done counting has been done now read sentence by sentence and merge all the sentences what does that mean first sentence d is to the immediate right of c now we cannot place d and c anywhere okay so let's move to next sentence e and a are neighbors of f again so it can be like this e and a are neighbors of f or this is also possible okay because here also e and a are neighbors of f but we cannot decide which one this or this and again we cannot place it over here so keep it like that only third sentence b is to the immediate left of c we cannot mark it immediately and on second place from left most end this is left this is right so left most end what is the left most end this one second place from left most end first place second place this is the second place from left most end b will come over here also now b is to the immediate left of c so c will be here immediate left this is immediate left of c okay now a is to at the right most end this is the right most end a will come over here now a f e this is not possible why because after a there is nothing a is at the right most end so after a f cannot come this is po not possible so only this is possible you have e f okay e f and a again go to the first sentence this is done this is done go to the first again this is also done e and a go to the first sentence d is to the immediate right of c d is to the immediate right of c okay we wrote over here this is immediate right of c so what is remaining a b c d e f and g right so write g over here our sitting arrangement is done let us solve the questions who is between c and e between c and e d is there answer is d who are neighbors of g g neighbors of g who are the neighbors of g there is no one right so g would be neighbors of g would be only one generally we have two neighbors here and here but g is to the leftmost corner so only one neighbor is there that is b so the answer for this is b right what is the position of e okay if we start counting from left hand side right if we start counting from left hand side it would be one two three four five fifth position or depending on options you can get an option or as fifth from left okay or you can get an option as third from right okay third from right depending on that you can decide this is first second and third from right or there can be options like between d and f 
between C and E, between B and C. So, E lies between D and F. So, there are four ways in which we can express the position of E. Between D and F, third from right and fifth from left. See how easy it is? Very, very easy once you get the diagram right. So, spend 45 to one, 45 seconds to 60 seconds. That is one minute to draw the diagram correctly. And these will be, uh, this you will be able to solve in hardly 5 seconds. So, you will immediately get 3 marks or say 2 marks are there for the uh, question. Then you will get 6 marks very, very easily. Moving to next question. Question number 2. Consider the following scenario. 5 boys, Ashwin, Dipesh, Ishan, Chetan and Bipin and 5 girls, Parul, Komal, Radha, Savita and Vimala sit in 2 rows facing towards each other. All the boys are in one row and all the girls are in other row. Ishan who is to the immediate right of Bipin and opposite to Parul is not at any end. Radha who is immediate to the right of Komal and opposite to Chetan is at one of the ends. Ashwin is opposite to Komal who is the third, who is the third to the right of Savita. Dipesh and Vimla are not opposite each other. Now over here the sum looks very big but it is actually very very easy. You just have to be careful and go step by step. Okay. Now over here first what we will do is we will see the sum and based on the sentences given we will have a diagram ready. Right. So that is nothing but a seating frame. We will have it ready and based on the seating frame we will solve the questions. So let us develop the seating frame. What we have to do first count the number of people. So there are 5 boys, 5 girls. Draw the seating arrangement. So, there are two rows facing each other, okay. This is like this, 4, 5, again 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. All boys are in one row. So, let us assume all the boys sit over here facing this downward and all the girls sit over here facing upwards. Now, you might think that why I am always drawing these arrows upwards and downwards, you will realize why is it necessary, okay. First sentence we all we have uh, developed our sitting arrangement. Second sentence Ishan who is to the immediate right of Bipin and opposite to Parul is not at any end. So what we write Ishan and Parul are opposite to each other and Ishan is to the immediate right of Bipin. So we will write like this Bipin and then Ishan but this is wrong. Why this is wrong? Because what happens is that Ishan opposite to Parul. This is correct. But boys are facing in the downward direction that is south. So, right of Bipin, immediate right of Bipin will be this. So, if Bipin is over here, then only immediate right of Bipin, Ishan will come. This will be immediate right of Bipin because Bipin is facing southward. Ishan is facing southward. So, remember this. Many people make a mistake over there here. Then they don't get the correct diagram or they are not able to complete the diagram properly and they get confused over here and waste a lot of time. So, always remember where the person is facing. Depending on that, decide the right and left. So, Bipin is facing towards south. Okay, This is our north. So, Bipin is facing downwards. So, immediate right of Bipin is Ishan. What have they given? Ishan is not at any end. Okay, So, Ishan cannot be over here and Ishan cannot be over here. So, Ishan can be any of the three places. We do not know where. So, let us keep it that way. What is the next sentence? Radha who is immediate to the right of Komal. Now, girls are facing normal upwards. So, we will have Radha and Radha is to the immediate right of Komal. Okay, And opposite to Chetan. So, Radha is opposite to Chetan. Radha and Chetan are opposite to each other. Radha is at one of the ends. Take a look over here. Now, if Radha is in this end, then Komal cannot be further over here on the left hand side of Radha. Why? Because Radha is at one of the ends, so no one is over here. So, Radha has to be over here. Then only Radha can be at the immediate right of Komal. Okay? Understood? So, if Radha is here, Chetan will be here. We have Chetan over here. Okay? So, we have three fixed positions. Next. Sentence is Ashwin is opposite to Komal. Again, we have a fixed position. Ashwin is opposite to Komal. Who is third to the right of Savita? So, Komal is third to the right of Savita. So, there is Savita and third to the right of Savita. If this is third to the right of Savita, this is second to the right of Savita, this is first to the right of Savita and this is Savita. So, this is first to right of Savita, second to right of Savita and third to right of Savita. Right? 
सो ना वॉट डू हैव दीपेश एंड विमला आर नॉट ऑपोजिट टू ईच अदर राइट नाउ वी डू नॉट नो वेर दीपेश इज एंड वेर विमला इज बट वी ऑलरेडी हैव दिस रिलेशन हाउ टू फिट दिस रिलेशन ओवर इयर से बिपिन कम्स ओवर इयर ओके ईशान कम्स ओवर इयर बट ईशान के नॉट बी एट द कॉर्नर सो बिपिन के नॉट बी ओवर इयर सो बिपिन हैज टू बी इयर करेक्ट so bipin has to be here so ishan will come over here opposite to ishan is parul and vimla is another girl so vimla will come over here dipesh will come over here so this is our seating arrangement let's use this to solve the sums or the questions asked on it okay now this is our seating arrangement a good quality diagram so it would be easier for you to see and understand okay so we have already derived the seating arrangement this is just a better version of it drawn nicely and colorful and everything so let us solve the questions question, first question is who is in the middle of the row of boys bipin so answer is bipin okay who is immediately to the right of parul immediately to the right of parul is vimla okay so answer is vimla who is opposite to dipesh savita right answer is savita how many boys are there between ashwin and bipin this is ashwin this is bipin zero boys are there between ashwin and bipin see once you have the diagram correctly so easy in hardly 10 seconds you can mark all the answers it becomes extremely easy to solve the questions and this becomes a cake walk you can score a lot over here okay so keep practicing let's move on to the next sum question number 3 Six boys: Ramesh, Suresh, Dipesh, Rupesh, Paresh, Kamlesh, and six girls: Seema, Geeta, Rita, Meena, Komal, Radha are standing in rows such that each girl faces one boy, not necessarily in the same order. Seema is to the immediate right of the girl who is facing Paresh, the boy at extreme right. Only Suresh is between Rupesh and Paresh. Kamlesh is to the immediate left of Ramesh and to the immediate right of Dipesh. Rita is facing Ramesh and is to the immediate left of Geeta. Radha is third to the left of Meena. Again, this looks very huge sum, but it is pretty easy. What do you want first? Count how many? Six boys, six girls. Now let's have a seating frame. They are standing in rows, okay? And such that each girl is facing one boy, not necessarily in the same order. That means. it is not necessary that ramesh is facing seema and suresh is facing geeta and all that stuff it might be ramesh might face any of the girls they, they are just given the names it is not the exact order right so because if yeah, exact order would have been then there would have been no need to calculate everything and so uh, you can directly draw and get the answer right so let us have say this is nothing but the standing frame okay let's now take boys over here there are six boys right there are six boys and there are six girls facing them so each girl faces one boy so these are boys these are girls right boys are facing this way girls are facing this way what have they given seema is to the immediate right of the girl who is facing paresh the boy at extreme right that means paresh is the boy at the extreme right this is north correct this is north so this will be extreme right this will be extreme left so paresh is over here now in exam please remember that do not write the entire name you will be wasting your 2 to 3 minutes only writing the names use short forms okay so p will be for paresh when it comes to boys p will be for paresh so paresh is at the right hand corner and seema is immediate right of the girl who is facing paresh okay now immediate right of the girl now what happens over here is that this is the girl who is facing paresh and immediate right of the girl what does that mean can seema come over here no absolutely not seema cannot come over here that means that either the question is wrong or we are wrong but the chances of the question being wrong is very less so that means that we are wrong so how to correct it what exactly where are we getting wrong we are getting wrong that we assumed that boys are facing downwards okay there may be the chance that boys may be facing upwards and girls may be facing downwards so now let us change the orientation girls will be facing downwards boys will be facing upwards okay now this is right this is left okay 
they have given Paresh is the boy at extreme right. So Paresh will come over here. The girl who is facing Paresh comes over here and that girl is to the immediate right of Seema. So Seema comes over here, right? So immediate right of Seema is the girl who is facing Paresh. Now we have the orientation right. See how even we cannot always assume that the boys will be facing downwards and girls will be facing upwards and all that stuff or Oh, girls are here and boys are here. We have to make sure that everything lines up, right? So this sentence made it clear where each one of them is facing, right? Sima is to the immediate right of the girl who is facing Paresh. So immediate right of the girl who is facing Paresh. So when we are facing towards south, we know that our right hand side becomes exactly opposite. That is this. So the Seema is to the immediate right of the girl who is facing Paresh, right? So this sentence gets satisfied. Move on to next sentence. Only Suresh is between Rupesh and Paresh. So Suresh is between Rupesh and Paresh. Paresh is over here. So Rupesh will be over here. Let us have Rupesh as RU and Suresh will be S, SU. Okay, Suresh is between Rupesh and Paresh. Kamlesh is to the immediate left of Ramesh. Now, we do not know where Ramesh is. Ramesh can be here or here also, right? And Kamlesh, Kamlesh is to the immediate left of Ramesh and to immediate right of Dipesh. So, there is Dipesh, there is Kamlesh and there is Ramesh. Only three places left. Put these three over here. This is Dipesh, this is Kamlesh and this is Ramesh, okay? So, you got the arrangement for boys. Rita is facing Ramesh. Rita is facing Ramesh and is to the immediate left of Gita. Now, many people will, what mistake they'll make in a hurry that, okay, now this is getting solved, I'll get marks. So, they, they, what they'll, in a hurry, the mistake they'll make is they'll write Gita over here and say immediate left of Gita is Rita. But no, Rita, Gita, all the girls are facing downwards over here towards south. That means left of Gita. So, Gita has to come over here, then only left of Gita is Rita because this side is right of Gita. Correct? It is exact to, exactly opposite to what we have right now because we are facing towards north. So, only we have right over here and left over here. But when we are facing south, the left comes over here, right comes over here. So, Gita comes over here. Okay? Rita is facing Ramesh and is to the immediate left of Gita. Radha is third to the left of Meena. Okay? So two places are remaining. We have to arrange Radha and Meena. Radha is to the left of Meena, third to the left of Meena. So, Radha is facing downwards, Meena will also be faced downwards, so Meena should come here or here. This is right of Meena because Meena is facing south, so this cannot be here. Radha is to the left of Meena, so Meena has to be here, Radha has to be here. So, Meena comes over here, Radha comes over here and we got the seating arrangement, okay? Very easy, this is the seating arrangement. Let us solve the questions based on this. Again, we have our uh, seating arrangement in a nicely drawn diagram, better than my uh, drawing and all that stuff. Okay, so let's use this nice diagram to solve the question. Question number one or question A, which girl is facing Rupesh? Radha, answer is Radha, right? Now, which pair of a girl and a boy is at one of the extreme ends? Okay, Komal Dipesh. Komal is over here, Dipesh is over here. So is it a pair? at extreme ends, yes and no, because generally what happens is that we see one of the pair of a girl and boy at extreme ends. So we try to find Meena Dipesh and Komal Paresh. But please make see that even Komal and Dipesh both are, both are a pair of girl and boy and they are at extreme ends. So this is one possibility, but let us see if Meena Dipesh or Komal Paresh possibility is available or not. Next is Pina, Meena and Kamlesh. Kamlesh comes at the center, so this is not the option. Seema and Suresh. Suresh is again in the between, so this is not the option. Gita, Paresh. Okay, Gita comes in between, so Gita and Paresh cannot, so this is the answer. Okay, now if there is a fifth option called none of these, please do not mark none of these. It is Komal and Dipesh because both are at extreme ends as well as both, both are nothing but a pair of girl and a boy. Question C, who is standing to the immediate left of Rupesh? Rupesh immediate left is Ramesh. So Ramesh is the answer. Let's move to the next question related to this diagram. Which option is not the same as other three options? 
ओके दिस कैन बी ट्रिकी लेट सी रमेश एंड राधा रमेश एंड राधा ओके इट इज लाइक दिस देन इट इज लाइक दिस नाउ सुरेश एंड कोमल दिस इज सुरेश दिस इज कोमल अगेन दिस इज लाइक दिस दीपेश एंड गीता दीपेश एंड गीता इट इज लाइक दिस ओके वी सी अ पैटर्न राइट रूपेश एंड राधा रूपेश एंड राधा इट इज लाइक दिस सो रूपेश एंड राधा इज द आंसर इट इज नॉट लाइक दीज थ्री pairs okay who is who are immediate neighbors of the one who is facing rita one who is facing rita who is facing rita ramesh ramesh is facing rita who are immediate neighbors of ramesh kamlesh and rupesh this is the answer kamlesh and rupesh see how easy it is with the diagram let's move on to the next sum question number 4 Six friends Preeti, Rupesh, Ashwini, Deepen, Rishi, and Sachin are sitting in a circle facing inwards. Preeti and Ashwin, uh, Preeti and Ashwini are exactly opposite to each other. Sachin is is in between Preeti and Deepen. Deepen is immediately to the left of Ashwini. Rishi is not exactly opposite to Deepen. Okay, over here again. Uh, let's count the number of friends. This is six friends. What is the frame? Let's draw the frame of sitting arrangement. They are sitting in a circle okay and they are facing inwards so let us draw six places over here facing inwards okay this 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 and this okay now let's see what is the first thing let us see the sentences and make the sitting arrangement priti and ashwini are exactly opposite to each other now in circular arrangement the best thing is that there is a chance if you don't know where to start you can start at any point right so i am assuming over here Preeti, okay, and Ashwini, okay, P and A are exactly opposite to each other. In whenever there are six uh, people sitting equally in a circle, this becomes like yeah, opposite to each other. So Preeti and Ashwini are opposite to each other. Sachin is between Preeti and Deepen. Now say if Deepen is over here, then Sachin will come over here, or if Deepen is over here, Sachin will come over here. So we do not know exactly. So keep it as it is for the moment. now deepen is immediately to the left of ashwini this is ashwini ashwini is facing inside okay for ashwini if ashwini is facing inside right hand side is this left hand side is this right this is left this is right so deepen is to the immediate left of ashwini so deepen will be here so cancel this and this sachin will be here okay next Rishi is not exactly opposite to Deepen. The opposite to Deepen is this position. So Rishi will not come over here. Rishi will be here. And who is remaining? Rupesh is remaining. So Rupesh comes over here. So this is a sitting arrangement. Let's go on to the question based on questions based on this. Again, my rough sitting arrangement in a very nice diagram. Okay. So let's start. Who are neighbors of Deepen? This is Deepen. Who are neighbors of Deepen? Sachin and Ashwini okay who is sitting opposite to the pen opposite to the pen is Rupesh okay who is just right he is just right to Ashwini just right to Ashwini means immediately to the right of Ashwini that is Rishi okay see how easily we got the answers question number 5 six friends a b c d e and f are sitting on a circular table facing outwards E is between B and C. B and F are exactly opposite to each other. A is exactly to the right of B. Again, right over here. How many people are there? Six people. Okay. What is the rough uh, framework of seating? It they are around a circular table. Okay, and they are facing outside. So outside, 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 and outside. Okay. don't mind my drawing it's very bad but still uh, this is outside all six are facing outside what have they given e is between b and c now over here we do not know where is b where is c where is e so let it be uh, like that second line is b and f are exactly opposite to each other again over here b and f can be anywhere so let us assume that b is over here and f is over here okay b and f are opposite to each other correct now a is exactly to the right of b b is facing outside okay So what is the right of B now? This will be the right of B, okay? And this will be its left. So right of B, what is immediately to the exactly to the right of B? A, okay? Now move to the first sentence. E is between B and C. 
now between b and c e should be there so if b is here c is here e should be over here so e c and e cannot be over here but here it is possible if b is here c is here e can be here because there is a vacant place correct now which one person is remaining d is remaining this is a seating arrangement let's move on to the questions again a nice diagram of my seating arrangement to encourage us okay let's move on to questions who is between d and b d b a answer is a who are neighbors of a a is over here neighbors are d and b who is exactly to the right of d now this is d d is facing outside right of d is this who is to the exactly right of d f f is the answer see how easy it becomes to solve the questions you get the answers to the questions in hardly 10 seconds all these questions in hardly 10 seconds if you draw the diagram properly moving on to the next question in a group discussion a b c d e and f are sitting around a rectangular table a is sitting on a side alone b c are sitting on the same side f is facing a d is the is the immediate left of f c is facing d again over here they have not mentioned whether the people are facing inwards outwards so what to do let's see first count the people how many people are there one two three four five six six people are there draw the rough arrangement okay this is the rectangle okay this is the rectangular table now what is what have they given a is then arrange the seats right so here what happens is that there are four sides so people can sit over here 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 or people can sit over here also see there is an alternate arrangement also you can have one two three four five six like this also we'll see which one to take okay now what have they given is that first they have not mentioned whether the people are facing inside or outside but since they are having group discussion uh, common sense or by default we have to take all are facing inside okay why because we cannot have group discussion facing outside it would be a very comical thing okay so everyone is facing inside looking at each other and fighting in the group discussion now a is sitting on a side alone that means on one side a is sitting if we take this diagram then a will come over here somewhere or over here on this side entire side only a will be there and then only these this this and this remains okay so what happens is that we cannot have we are not using these two sides in this diagram we are only using two sides correct so what will happen you will have to have accommodate all the rest of the five people over here and that would not satisfy the conditions so don't take this scenario take this simple scenario they are they have given a sitting on a side alone so a can be over here or a can be over here we do not know let us see where we can put a second sentence b and c are sitting on the same side again we cannot deduce anything f is facing a again if a is over here f will be here and if f is a is over here f will be here we do not know where to place okay let's move on to next sentence d is to the immediate left of f okay again we cannot place it c is facing d now the problem arises that we are not able to fix any one point just like circle start at any point okay assume that a is over here so f will come over here right because we know f is facing a what is the first sentence a is sitting on a side alone that gets satisfied second b and c are sitting on same side again we do not know move to next f is facing a next d is the immediate left of f immediate left of f is this because f is facing inside so this will be left this will be right this is left immediate left of f is d c is facing d c comes over here we know b and c are on the same side so b and c comes over here what remains is e this is a sitting arrangement let's see the questions they are over here who is to the immediate right of a a is facing inside right over here towards east so immediate right of a is this this is the right and this is the left answer is e answer is e who is between b and f this is b this is f who is between c answer is c see how easy it was moving to the next question question number seven l m n o p q r and s are sitting around a square table such that four of them sit at four corners of the square facing center and four sit in middle of each of the four sides facing outside two females sit in the middle of the sides and two at the corners 
now here they have given there are how many people there are eight people out of that two females sit in middle of the sides and two at corners that means there are four females for sure there may be five females six females or all eight might be females but two females four females are there for sure also what is the seating arrangement the seating arrangement is of a square in that how is it four corners people are sitting facing inside okay so this is inside facing and in the middle of the sides they are facing outside right they are facing outside now let us see whether we can pinpoint any of the things or, or any of the positions first l sits second to the left of r we cannot point anything r sits in middle of one of the sides so r is not at the corner r can be here r can be here r can be here r can be over here but still we are not fixed n sits fourth to the right of his wife and his wife is not an immediate neighbor of l or r not useful m sits third to right of her husband m does not sit at any of the corners again m can be here m can be here m can be here m can be here but not sure okay only o sits between m and s again we do not know s is husband of l and p is a male now it is we are not able to pinpoint anything so what to do just like in circular arrangement start at some place okay we can, it's much better to start at known factors we know where the position of r is and based on position of r we can get the position of l correct so let us assume that r is over here okay r is over here so here it is not r okay we cancel it out r is over here what have they given l sits second to the left of r r is facing outside left is this side so second to the left first second l comes over here okay l is over here now we do not know any gender or anything related to r and l let's move on n sits fourth to the right of his wife and his wife is not an immediate neighbor of l and r so n's wife okay n's wife is not an immediate neighbor of l and r immediate neighbor of r is this and this of l is this and this so n's wife can be here here or here let us assume that n's wife is here so where should be n n should be fourth to the right of his wife 1 2 3 and 4 because why 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 this is no okay this is the left side because wife is facing downwards towards south so right will be over here please be careful i made a mistake over here and counted this this way this is left because wife is facing downwards right so right of n's wife fourth right of n's wife wow. so it would be one two three and four but already r is sitting over here so n cannot take the place now so n's wife cannot be over here let us assume n's wife is over here so what we will get n's wife is facing inside right hand side is this so one two three and four so n can come over here but let us be sure okay let us assume that n's wife is over here because this place is still remaining of uh, of checking okay so n's wife is over here let us assume n's wife is facing outside what is the right hand side this is the right hand side okay so fourth position from right one two three and four already l is sitting over here so n's wife cannot be here so this is the position for n's wife since n's wife it is wife she is female wife so n will be male okay now we got one female at the corner right what is this sentence get satisfied next sentence m sits third to right of her husband m does not sit at any corners only o sits between m and s let's take these two sentences and see what we get m does not sit at any corners that we already know m can either be here or here okay now let us see this sentence okay this sentence gets satisfied now m sits third to the right of her husband how many vacant places are there this 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 and this okay what does it mean m sits third to the right of her husband that means that m's husband okay m sits say this is her husband facing this way third to the right of husband one two and third position is m that means that and m is also facing this way that means that the husband is in which direction in the left hand direction do not use this logic over there the only reason i told you over here is that sometimes people think this way and get the wrong answer why should we not use the logic over here because it might happen that husband is facing this way and m is facing this way so this is right of husband and this is right of m okay so let us see how to trace let us assume that m's husband is over here okay m's husband is over here what is 
third right of m's husband m's husband is this side facing inside so right is over here third right is 1 2 and 3 l is sitting over here so m's husband cannot be here okay now what is this let m's husband be over here okay m's husband right side is this what is third right 1 2 and 3 but m does not sit at any corner so not possible again m's husband cannot be over here because this position is for n's wife let m's husband be over here what is the right hand side for this it is this okay here we'll have m's husband okay m's husband over here right hand side is this 1 2 and 3 n is sitting over here so m's husband cannot be here so what is the position remaining this m's husband okay m's husband we do not know who is m's husband let us write just m's husband okay right hand side is this 1 2 and 3 so m will be here okay this is m m is female m's husband is male okay next this is done this is done only o sits between m and s here is m okay o sits between m and s o sits between m and s that means o is next to m so if o is over here s has to be over here but that is not possible if o is over here s can be here so write o over here and s over here we do not know the name of n's wife we just know this position is for n's wife so only we did not write m's husband over here okay o can be n's wife o can be female so m only o lies between m and s okay s comes over here so let us what do we have now we have m o s l n and r so we have female over here okay we have a male over here we have a male over here only a female can come over here what have they given t is a last is s is husband of l so s will be a male okay i'll write again over here male s will be a male right so over here l will be female okay so we have two females s is a male so r will be also male because two females sit at the center okay now what have they given p is a male now r can be male or female we are not sure but what we will see is that uh, r there is a chance that more chance that r is a female there might be pairs four pairs but let us write male or female we are not sure okay now there can be five females and three males so let us write male female for r now only one posi two positions are remaining this for female this for male they have given p is a male so p will come over here so p is nothing but m's husband okay and female which one is remaining q so q is female now i know this diagram is very dirty this is going to happen in exam also this is going to get dirty so let us write a very rough diagram okay over here here it is r here it is q here we have m here we have o here we have s here we have p here we have l and here we have n based on this diagram let us solve the questions again a very nice diagram of our rough drawing okay so which of the following is true with respect to given sit and seating arrangement find the true sentence no two males are immediate neighbors of each other what is this male no we do not know this male male neighbors wrong sentence r and s face each other in the seating arrangement r s now over here directly you might mark that this is the correct sentence but it is not why r is facing this way s is facing this way they are sitting opposite to each other but they are not facing each other they are facing opposite to each other okay away from each other so wrong sentence l sits in center of one of the sides of square table yes this is correct fourth q is a male and sits diagonally opposite to p q is a female so wrong sentence answer is this moving to next uh, sub questions based on this diagram who is m's husband m m's husband is p okay how many people sit between m and n when counted in anti clockwise direction from m m is over here anti clockwise is like this 1 2 n okay till n only so two two people who is the wife of n n wife of n is o okay what is the position of p with respect to n this is p this is n n facing inside so this side is right 1 2 second okay second position to the right of n second position to the right of 
n or you can write p uh, p is sitting to the right second position from n right so what is the position of p with respect to n it is the second position to the right of n moving on question number 8 read the following information pepper pots hulk iron man hawkeye thor loki and black widow are sitting in a circle welcome to the marvel universe see uh, the superheroes have come to teach us uh, seating arrangement okay next pepper hulk iron man hawkeye loki and black widow are sitting at equal distances from each other iron man is sitting two places right of loki who is sitting one place right of hawkeye pepper forms an angle of 90 degrees from thor and angle of 120 degrees from hulk okay now this is something different of angle we have not seen it yet let's move to next sentence hulk is just opposite to black widow and sitting on the left of thor now okay let's uh, see how to approach these avengers over here right even they want a space at the table now how are they sitting all of them are sitting in a circle right how many people are there let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay seven people sitting in a circle right so we can directly draw seven places over here but let us see what have they given they have given that these people are sitting at equal distances from each other which people pepper hulk iron man hawkeye loki and black widow that is just six people one person is not included so we have seven people but six of them are sitting at equal distances from each other now we have seen that equal distance means let us divide it into six parts okay the circle these are equidistant parts this is e this is equal to this this is equal to this this is equal to this okay we have okay now we still do not know where to place each person iron man is sitting two places to the right okay these are not helpful but last what we can do is we can start from the last sentence like we have learned earlier hulk is just opposite to black widow okay so if we assume that hulk is over here okay hulk is over here black widow will be over here okay let us write bw okay black widow is over here hulk is over here opposite and hulk is sitting on the left of thor so thor can be over here but why thor cannot be over here let's not write thor over here why because what have they given pepper hulk iron man hawkeye loki and black widow sit at equidistant uh, places or equal distances so these six places which have we have marked these are equal distance spaces and name of thor was not included over there okay so we cannot write thor over here so that means thor to the left of thor hulk is there that is fine but where to uh, write, uh, write thor it can come between hulk and this place okay but where let us see now what are they given pepper forms an angle of 90 degrees from thor and angle of 120 degrees from hulk now whenever we divide a circle is how many degrees 360 degrees okay when we divide it into six parts okay this is the six parts right these are the six parts when we divide it into six part each part becomes how many degrees divide by 6 60 degrees simple so this is 60 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 and this is also 60 degrees okay star is 60 degrees what have they given pepper forms an angle of 120 degrees from hulk this is 60 plus 60 120 so pepper can come over here and this is 60 this is 60 so pepper can come here also right okay now they have given what is the second sentence over here we have we have seen this equidistant okay we have seen we have seen the first okay what is your iron man is sitting two places right of loki who is sitting one place right of hawkeye okay say if loki is over here okay if say loki is over here then two places from loki is one two but black widow is sitting over here so loki cannot come over here right so again very confusing where to start and all that stuff so again over here no issues just assume pepper pots to at some place let us say i am assuming over here that pepper is sitting over here if we get a wrong diagram of here getting something wrong we'll simply switch the position of pepper over here right so let us go with pepper over here now pepper is making 120 degree angle with hulk okay this is 120 pepper makes 90 degree angle from thor okay now we know thor has to come on this side because thor is to the right of hulk because we have given that hulk sits 
where is it where is, ah, last sentence hulk sits at the left of thor so thor has to come here somewhere let us find angle of 90 degree from paper on this side this is 60 okay this is 60 plus 30 degrees so here it would be 30 degrees okay this is 30 degrees so thor will come over here this is thor 90 degrees from paper and to the left of thor is hulk so both the conditions get satisfied so question sentence number five is satisfied sentence number four is satisfied now let us find out to how to position these people iron man is sitting two places right of loki okay say this position is empty this is empty and this is empty okay we have this extra guest over here in between thor has come in between okay so say if loki is over here okay loki is over here right of loki is one and two so black widow is sitting so iron man cannot come over here loki cannot be over here say loki is over here two position towards the right this and this okay hulk is sitting so loki cannot be over here loki is over here two positions to the right of loki is one and two iron man is over here who remains hawk eye okay hawk eye remains hawk eye comes over here now over here you must have observed that every time we have taken everyone facing inside and we have taken right as this left as this okay and for black widow it would be right would be this and this why did we take everyone facing inside because by default if nothing is given everyone faces inside you cannot have discussion uh, going on with facing the other way okay so everyone facing inside this is the seating arrangement let's see the sums for it again the avengers wanted a nice diagram so we gave them a very artistic diagram okay very neat and clean now who is the only person sitting on the immediate left of black widow everyone is facing inside left for black widow would be this answer is pepper pots which of the following statements is not correct loki is on the right of hulk hulk facing inside right is this side but loki is on the left this is not correct hawkeye is sitting next to iron man hawkeye iron man not correct thor is sitting adjacent to loki loki thor not adjacent answer is fourth all of the above okay read all the options carefully next the angle between thor and hulk in the anti-clockwise direction is this is thor this is hulk this is clockwise anti-clockwise is this okay so angle is 30 plus 60 is 90 plus 60 is 150 plus 60 is 210 270 and 330 answer is 330 degrees there is another way to calculate the angle clockwise the angle between thor and hulk is 30 degrees total angle is 360 degrees we want the opposite anti-clockwise so 360 minus 30 is 330 degrees moving to next uh, questions related to this seating arrangement where is hawkeye sitting with respect to black widow okay black widow is over here she is facing inside this is the right of black widow this is the left of black widow so to the right of black widow what is this to immediate right okay this is correct option let us see other options also to immediate left no left is not there so this is wrong exactly opposite no none of these no immediate right is the answer thor is sitting between which pair here it is thor iron man and hulk Thor is sitting between Iron Man and Hulk. Okay. See how easy it gets with the diagram. Moving to the next question. Question number nine. Read the following. Six people, Nitro, Nemesis, Nick Fury, Viper, Kronos and Hulk are attending a hexagonal table conference. Again, we have the superheroes. Okay. All the sides of a hexagonal table so formed are of same length. Nitro is not adjacent to Nemesis or Nick Fury. Viper is not adjacent to Nick Fury or Kronos. Nemesis and Nick Fury are adjacent. Hulk is in middle of Viper and Nick Fury. Now over here, what do we know? How many people are there? Six people. How is the table? Hexagonal. Okay. This is an hexagonal conference. Okay. Hexagonal. So this is an hexagon. Okay. Six sides. All of them are of the same length. Right. Now what have they given Nitro is now based on these sentences, we are not able to pinpoint where each one is sitting. So what to do very easy start anywhere from where to start nitro is not adjacent to nemesis or nick fury we cannot write anything related to it viper not adjacent to nick fury chronos again nemesis and nick fury are adjacent so let us start over here this is nemesis okay and this is nick fury okay avengers okay so nemesis and nick fury is over here adjacent hulk is is in middle of viper and nick fury now here we have nick fury correct 
so hulk has to be in between viper and nick fury viper hulk nick fury okay so hulk is next to nick fury here already one position next to nick fury is taken so hulk will come over here viper will come over here hulk between viper and nick fury okay so this is done nitro is not adjacent to nemesis or nick fury nitro will not come over here nitro will be here which one is remaining chronos is remaining write it okay we got the position now we started arbitrarily from this corner okay this and this corner you can start anywhere there are many possible combinations for this but the sequence will always remain like this okay so now let's move on to the questions see again over here just like i told you there are many possible combinations so i have shown two combinations over here okay not me but our our team has uh, shown two very nicely drawn combinations over here right so this is the combination which we saw this is also possible but whichever combination you take you will always get the same answer okay so let us go with this okay and you can check the answer with this also who is placed exactly opposite to chronos hulk very easy chronos hulk here also chronos hulk if one neighbor of nitro is viper who is the other one nitro one neighbor is viper other is chronos nitro one neighbor viper chronos so we have chronos next question which of the following are in the right sequence nitro hulk nemesis nitro hulk nemesis okay this is not a sequence as such but let's see hulk nitro chronos hulk nitro chronos okay not a sequence nemesis nick fury hulk nemesis nick fury hulk okay this is a sequence but let's check out last option also viper nitro nemesis viper nitro nemesis again not a sequence so this is the answer check over here also nemesis nick fury hulk okay and rest are not in sequence moving to other questions related to this seating arrangement who is at the same distance from viper as chronos is from viper this is viper this is chronos chronos is how much distance 1 2 from viper again same distance from viper 1 2 so we cannot go this side we have to go this side okay 1 and 2 answer is nick fury now next which of the following pair is neighboring pair neighbor pair of hulk where is hulk hulk is over here who are neighbors of hulk nick fury viper nitro viper no viper nemesis no nemesis chronos no nick fury viper see how easy it was just draw the diagrams remember what is clockwise anti clockwise just remember what do you mean by turning left turning right right uh, second from right third from right who is facing inwards who is facing outwards okay so please pay attention to this very carefully draw the diagram and you can score very very heavily okay so these are easy pickings and so keep practicing this is all in regards to seating arrangement i hope this helped you clear your strategy and concepts for the topic share the video with friends and give it a like if you liked it leave your comments and suggestions for us also don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated about upcoming tutorials